What's up everyone? Welcome back to another challenge. So got Barry here. We got Barry in the house. <laughs> Barry's actually part of the challenge today. Just kidding. No, he's not. But we don't do our chop challenges anymore with Caitlin. However, Jasmine and I are still gonna go head to head every month. So this is an extra special fall edition. What's the uh, secret <laughs> ingredient? Pumpkin, I don't think we could have done anything else. This is so appropriate and I'm so excited. I freaking love pumpkin. So funny story, I had a whole recipe <laughs> plan and I had pumpkin pie spice in it and I was like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. And then this morning, as I'm getting everything ready, I Jasmine's like, like uh, where's where? the pumpkin? I was like, oh, I have pumpkin pie spice, right? <laughs> She's like, He's like, there's pumpkin in that, right? So I had to modify my recipe a bit. <laughs> but it works. It still works. Right? Um, I'm gonna be making pumpkin pie pretzel bites with a cream cheese dipping sauce. And I'm going to be making pumpkin hand pies with vegan puff pastry. It's got pumpkin, zucchini, fall herbs, and it is delicious. So we got a sweet and savory going on here. Make sure you guys vote in the top right corner. Right here. It is currently 5-4. I believe so. I think I won the last one. It was your, your pie was beautiful, but so. your coffee cake was so good. Okay. It was honestly yeah. it wasn't the prettiest, but like I don't know what coffee cake is. Maybe Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I am not the best at baking, but I tried here doing sweet stuff and baking completely out of my <laughs> element. I don't know what I was. But thinking. you're doing it. You're I'm doing it. it. I'm trying to That's push myself out of the comfort zone here. But. So without further ado, let's get our pumpkin on. <laughs> All right. So. Here we go. Pumpkin spice pretzel bites. I like the rhyming name if you guys haven't noticed. So we have our standing mixer here. You can also do this by hand, but um, we're gonna take some all purpose flour. We're gonna add it into our mixer. All right, and then we're gonna add in some salt, some sugar, some instant yeast. So with instant yeast, you don't have to let it activate like active dry yeast so you can just pour it into your dry mixture and everything will rise as it should and then we're gonna add some cinnamon also we're gonna add some melted vegan butter and then some warm almond milk I just want to make sure that is good that feels pretty good to me Gonna crank this bad boy up, and here goes nothing. I know I've mentioned that I don't prefer baking, so I don't know why I'm doing this to myself right now. But here goes nothing. Gonna need a spatula for sure. Got to push the sides down here. continue to let this mix. I did this by hand when I was testing it and I realized the dough is really loose so you can add more flour as needed to get it to a nice stable consistency. But this one looks actually a lot better. I don't know if it's because it's in the machine or what, but you just kind of use your judgment in terms of the dough consistency. You know what? I'm really, really silly. I forgot to add in the pumpkin, which is the whole point of why we're doing this. So, I'm gonna add that in now, but I should have added it in before. And that explains the consistency that I was talking about. So now, once our dough is a little bit formed, we're gonna switch this attachment over to a dough hook and then we'll allow it to knead for a few minutes. Whoop. So we have our handy dandy dough hook. So we got this dough hook cranking. Here we go. So our dough is looking a little wet, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour. After adding the pumpkin puree, 
kind of doing it for a loop. So I'm just going to estimate that it'll be about a tablespoon or so of flour. Oh! <coughs> Amateur baker here, guys. Please bear with me. And now we're just going to let this knead for a few minutes and we're going to set it to rise for about an hour and, or until it doubles in size. Alright, so now with pretzels, it's like a basic dough and then basically what makes them brown and pretzely is the baking soda that's mixed in with the water. So now we're going to take some water, we're going to bring that to a boil, and we're also going to add in some baking soda here. And then we'll let that boil up until it's all fully dissolved, and then we'll just let it cool down. So while that's boiling, we're going to make our cream cheese dipping sauce for these pumpkin spice pretzel bites. Okay, so now for our cream cheese dipping sauce, we need some confectioner sugar, but we don't have any. But we do have some raw cane sugar here, so we're just going to add the cane sugar to a food processor and then we'll just let that process for a few minutes until it becomes powdery. And there you go, that's it. And then you get some, some confectioner sugar or powder sugar. Just gotta figure out how to put this on properly. And you wanna make sure you don't open this right away once you stop it because the powder will go everywhere. So to avoid that, you let it settle and then slowly open it. It's not entirely powdery yet. We can see some smoke rising though. So I'm gonna just pulverize this a little bit further. That looks good to me. If you wanted that process to go a little bit faster, you can also use a high power blender, like a Vitamix or a Blendtec, and it should do it a lot quicker. But I didn't use that, I used this, because I'm gonna now add some cream cheese to the mix. This is vegan cream cheese, so we're just gonna pour that in. For our vegan cream cheese dipping sauce, we'll add some vanilla extract in here. and then some almond milk. And then we'll just blend this up. Amazing, there you have it. Done and delicious, we're gonna set this aside We'll actually place it in the fridge, and now we'll roll out our pumpkin bites. And if you were to make a larger batch of this, you could cut it into strips, or like cut it in, actually, I should cut this in half, just so it's a little easier to roll out. So I'm just gonna give that a nice slice, and now we're just gonna roll this out. I think it's still a little bit too long. I'm gonna cut it again. So we'll cut it in fourths. I think that's good. So I'm gonna cut these into little pieces, and essentially those will be our bites. Okay, so now that we have all of our bites chopped up, we can roll them into balls, and then we're gonna place them into the baking soda and water mixture that we made earlier, just make sure they're all fully coated. Also, one thing I forgot to mention before, if you want to make these uh, a little bit more even, mine are gonna be a, a little mismatched in, in shape and size, but I don't really care. But if you do, um, you can weigh them out, just so it's a little bit more precise. Um, but they're gonna taste the same like this, so. All right, so we're gonna let these soak for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna add them to our baking sheet. I do have a few more left to do as well, but I ran out of space in here, so. Just pop these last few in. I'm pumped for these, I'm really excited. I've never had anything quite like this. 
tested the dough and it's great. So, I'm pumped, it should be good. Maybe I'll start baking more. Let's see. All right, our pumpkin pretzel bites are fresh out of the oven. So, onto the final step here. We have some raw cane sugar. We're just gonna add that to a bowl. Along with some pumpkin pie spice. Make sure everything's well combined. Mmm, that smells absolutely delicious. And then we have some melted vegan butter. So we're just gonna take our balls here that we made, dip them in the butter, and then roll them in that mixture. And look at that. Oh, I wanna eat one so bad right now. We're just gonna put this on a plate and then we'll continue to do this until we've got them all done. So, in, I guess, Food Network fashion, Chris and I were talking about this earlier, we prepared some of the ingredients beforehand, and what I did was I already roasted the pumpkin, but I'm gonna walk you through what I did. So, took one of these babies, these are called sugar pie pumpkins. We got this at our local Winco, and basically I cut the top and the bottom off of the pumpkin. I put it on a towel to help keep it stable because it's circular and it could roll off and be really dangerous. So I cut the ends off, then I turned it back on its bottom and I peeled the pumpkin with a knife. I cut off all of the peel, discarded it, throw it into your compost, and then I cut the pumpkin in half. I scraped out all of the insides, which we have right here. And you can actually um, clean this up, take out all the seeds and discard the pulp and you can roast these and they make a really good snack. We're not doing that today, but we're gonna save them. Uh, maybe we'll do that later tonight, I don't know. And then you dice up the pumpkin, you add that to a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil and we baked it for about 20, about 20 minutes. We're pre-baking the pumpkin first because it takes longer to cook than the zucchini and the other things that we're going to add to it. So we just wanna make sure everything is evenly cooked through. So we have our cooked pumpkin here and now I'm going to prepare the, it's not a sauce, but the oil for it. So we have a bowl. I'm just gonna add maybe like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of oil. And then to that I am adding in some minced garlic. You can use garlic powder as well. I would recommend fresh garlic. And then we have herbs here. I have herbs here, I don't know, I keep saying we. So I have some thyme, some rosemary, and some sage, all fresh. All fall herbs, my favorite part of fall. And then lastly, I'm adding in a pinch of, oh, I don't wanna spill it, nutmeg. You don't wanna add too much because it can be pretty strong, but it adds a great flavor. So just mix all of that together. And I'm actually going to add a little more oil because it's, it's a little chunky in there. So total, maybe like about two tablespoons. We'll have all of the instructions in the blog post. Link down below, of course, so don't worry about that. Let's scoop this here. So for the remaining veggies, I have some zucchini. I'm gonna add that to the pumpkin. And then I also have some diced up onion. I'm gonna give this a quick little mix. Dropped another one. All right. And I have the oil mixture that I made, so I'm just going to distribute that on top. I'm so excited for this, you have no idea. And just spilling everything. I need to chill here. Mix everything as well as you can. You want the herbs to evenly distribute. We are going to be putting these into puff pastry, so don't worry about that. There'll be plenty of herbs to go around, but we just wanna try to do our best here to coat it. So, gonna add some salt. This is pepper. Next up is salt. Let's spread everything 
into an even layer as best we can. And then now, we are going to pop this in the oven at the same temperature that we baked the pumpkin at, so we just kept it heated. Gonna pop it in for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until everything is cooked through, slightly browned, and yeah, that is it. So we have some store-bought puff pastry here. You can make your own puff pastry, but it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot, and I think that the store-bought is great, and it's so much easier. So we let it chill in the, or we let it thaw in the fridge for like 40 minutes and what I'm going to do, actually, getting ahead of myself, I'm gonna open this baby up first. Could have thawed a little more, but what you gonna do, you know? All right. And then I'm actually going to cut this up into the hand pie pieces already so that it is easier once we fill it. Handy dandy pizza cutter here. And I'm just gonna cut it along the line. The one that we have was divided into three parts, so it's so much easier. So I'm just gonna cut it along the line. Otherwise, they would have been crooked. So <laughs> I'm glad for that. And then I'm also going to cut this into smaller pieces as well. Should I use a ruler? I don't know, probably not. Not necessary, right? Let's just guesstimate here. Hope that these are even. So basically, I cut it into two pieces here, and then I'm gonna use these on top of each other to make a hand pie. So I'm going to transfer these onto my baking sheet here. And I actually have one more pack of puff pastry, or one more set, I don't know what the proper terminology is, so I'm gonna cut this one as well. And total, I'm going to be making six. Scoot this, do the same thing with this guy. So these are going to be the pieces that go on top. So I'm actually going to be setting those aside. Just make sure to have them ready so that once we fill these up, uh, they'll be ready to go. So I have just a random measuring spoon. You can use a regular spoon as well, but this is just what I grabbed in our drawer. And I'm going to be filling up these pastries. And what I'm doing is I'm filling it up but leaving some room on the edges because we're going to need to push the two pieces of pastry together and that will help them stick better so that there's nothing in the way. And it'll also help because then nothing will be like bursting out of the pastry. If you don't want to use pumpkin for this, you can also opt for any kind of squash really. Um, I know in other places around the world they call like butternut squash pumpkin and acorn squash pumpkin. Here in the US, we don't say that, so that's why I chose to just use pumpkin. What's pumpkin to us, I guess, if that makes sense. But you can use whatever pumpkin or squash that you prefer. So I have a little bowl of some almond milk, and usually you use eggs to seal these and then egg wash on top, but of course these are vegan. So we are going to be using almond milk. You can also use water to seal them as well, but I'm gonna be putting almond milk on top anyway, so I figured I might as well just use the same liquid. So I'm just gonna brush around the edges. Carefully. I think we're pretty brushed up here. I'm gonna get the other pastry and lay it on top. I'm actually gonna add a little more filling to this one because it's not as packed as the others. Okay, so just lay these on top. And then what we're going to do is press the edges together first with our fingers. So they don't need to like stick together completely because I'm gonna go back over them with a fork, so just keep that in mind. If you don't wanna make savory hand pies, you can actually make sweet ones. I've seen people roast pumpkin and sweet potato with like coconut sugar or brown sugar and some pumpkin pie spice. And then you just fill that, that. you add that filling to this the same exact way and then you can get a sweet version and then you can add like maybe like a cream cheese icing or something on top. 
sounds really good. I think we're gonna do that <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Okay, so once these are ready to go, I'm going to go back into my almond milk wash and just gently brush over these. It's gonna give them a nice golden color. So then just grab a sharp knife and then we're just gonna cut some holes in the top. Adds a nice design and it's also going to be used to help the steam escape from the hand pies. And all that's left to do is pop these in the oven for 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. And you got to yourself some pumpkin hand pies. All right. Here we are, finished products. Both look really good. I'm really pumped right now. Decorated mine, got a little fancy. Gotta win this one. So I yeah. wanna say, this, we like switched roles here. I feel like this is something I would make. And that's something I would make. Look oh, at that. Look at us. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite of this guy. Gotta take do the taste this. test here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Wow, very sweet, but very, very delicious. I didn't get a lot of filling yet. That looks really nice. Mmm. Good? You got a little stuff smushed on your cheek, sweetheart. Other side. There you go. It's gone. So, let us know what you guys, or who you guys think won this one. What recipe wins in the top right corner. And I think I got this this time. I'm, gonna, I'm about to tie uh, it back up. These are bomb, so I don't know about that. They are good, but come on. Pumpkin spice, pretzel bites. Pumpkin spice, pretzel bites. Pumpkin hand pies. I'm all about those rhyming recipes. All right, well, <laughs> thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. Hope we, you enjoyed this video. <laughs> we post videos every Wednesday and every Friday. Sometimes, sometimes Monday. Monday. You know the spiel. If you're new, hi, we love you. I'm Chris. Jasmine, welcome. Uh, we have a lot of holiday recipes coming up soon. A lot of pumpkin, a lot of just fall-esque things coming. And we hope you guys can join along. Thank you guys for helping us reach 50K on this channel. I don't know what we're going to be at when this comes out. Probably not that much over 50K, honestly. But thank but you. Thank you guys. It means the world, honestly. And uh, that about wraps things up today. So we'll see you guys in the next challenge video. It'll be in November. If you have any challenge suggestions, leave them down below. We're thinking something Thanksgiving. I feel like that's spinning. Thanksgiving-y. Yeah, Thanksgiving-y. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. You give me